In new at six county judge Nelson Wolf tongue in cheek called a letter from the state attorney general sent to local leaders on Tuesday a love letter. It accused the city and county of overreaching their authority regarding emergency orders orders issued concerning COVID-19. Paul Venema took the issue to a legal expert, a law professor, for an opinion. Wearing masks in public places and limiting the number of people allowed in churches and in businesses are the major differences in the city's emergency executive orders and the governor's order. The letter from the state attorney general's office accuses the mayor and county judge of exceeding their lawful authority by mandating masks and establishing crowd size guidelines. There's just not a lot of authority out there to say who wins in this situation. Marx is a professor at St. Mary's University School of Law. He says the orders are confusing and inconsistent. The city's orders are based on the health and safety code, the governor's orders on the government code. He said that either order will more than likely end up being challenged in court. The bars are going to start going bankrupt. Uh, restaurants can't continue to handle only 25 percent and survive. And when you're talking about people's livelihood, they're going to resort to the litigation. The letter also accuses local leaders of being in conflict with the governor's order by mandating a crowd size limit for religious services. Again, a court challenge seems likely. So what should you do when it comes to the orders? I think everybody, you know, just as a matter of common sense, should probably do what they feel safe is doing. Paul Venema, Case at 12 News.